see me. I'm Josh Cagher, the director of the center, and I just want to very briefly introduce the uh, Broussard sisters, the Sarah uh, Broussard. Um, uh, I don't want to get too in depth uh, with it, but just want to briefly say that they practice a tradition here that is uh, is not uh, it's not very well known, and, it, and it's and it's really not there aren't many people who, who do it. I mean, in fact, you can you guys are the only people I know who are really out there performing jure. You know. Uh, one way to think about it is, I think about it as an Afro-Creole version of what some people would describe as the Shell. I don't know if y'all if would agree with me on that, but uh, but there's a Creole version uh, of that here, uh, sung in French and in English, and, uh, and um, well, I'll just let you guys go ahead and sing before introducing uh, or say anything more about it, but uh, please uh, welcome the Sarah Broussard, Broussard Sisters. <laughs>
tell us a little bit about yourselves. Um, how you got started, uh, okay, where I'm it comes from, and whatever you like. Uh, okay. Just to help us understand a little bit more. Okay, I'm Virginia Bellar. Come up here. Adrian and Sandra. We started uh, doing jewelry by listening to our mom when we were younger. During Lent, they would uh, sing jewelry. Instead of go to dances, oh. they would do jewelry. It's like going to church and praising God. So they would do it in this way. Uh -huh. So that's where I, we learned how to do it. The first time I ever did it is with my auntie, uh, Cecilia Broussard. We started doing it at um, Chico Park. That was the first place that I ever did it. So, I mean, it's a spiritual thing, but it's, it's jewelry. It's really like African stuff that we started way back in the days. So, and, and oh, is there any French in there? Can you dance with jewelry? <laughs> Well, I mean, they do steps like what she was doing yeah. on jewelry, but yeah, you could. Because they used to get together and, and really go down with it. Because I mean, I, I can't do it no more. I used to do it on Sunday. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Is there any jewelry in French? Yes, I think they do have some, but we can't. We, well, I don't know how to do it. Okay. Not in French. Okay. No. <laughs> Can you do another song for us? Sure. Okay. Jewelry in the morning, Lord, Lord, Lord.
lived in Appaloosa. Yeah. Yeah. I live in Church Point. Church Point. Mm -hmm. I live up North Fairview, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. yeah. And are there, are there, uh, is that a very mixed community? Like are there French and, and, uh, and English speakers as, as well? Well, in Appaloosa, yes. Where I live, no French. No French. They don't understand it at all. They took from me. They're, it's mixed. Well, it's a mixed state, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. is. <laughs> Another question. Whenever y'all, like, growing up, y'all seen people, like, doing jurees and getting together, were any of them beating on things? No, they were only touching their hands and stuffing their feet. Okay. When, yeah. Well, when, when, when I was a little girl, this is how, I didn't know what they were doing, really. <laughs> but I saw my, the only school, I saw my mom <coughs> and her sisters, they was, like, in a, in a little circle, wearing them scarves on their head, had them, the, the, what you call can can dress them, whatever they, they were wide, wide. And I would see them, and I'm like, what are you doing? But they would run, run, run me away because they say, go back where you was. So I really couldn't, but I couldn't understand what they were doing, but, and then they would get in a circle. But they didn't have the, they didn't have the, they call that a little tea on, whatever it's called, tea yeah. or whatever. Then they had the little can can dress. But they, was in, they was in a circle. But I really, I didn't, really didn't know what they were doing. So, and I started watching, but after high, I said, okay, I'll take it off. <laughs> But now I love it. I was in the mix. But she would be, she, she would, she would be all the volume and stuff. Can you do one last one for us?
Yeah, they probably just didn't know what it was. Well, it's like a lot of things. It disappears if you don't use it. Yeah, that's right. And some of the songs they switched over to uh, English from French. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of the melodies you hear in like French music will go on accordion. A lot of the melodies come from the jure. Oh, okay. Yeah, but answer your question. Yeah, 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 answer Hey, Mary, you want to introduce these guys? Well, uh, where? Just right in front of them. Yeah, right in front of them. Yeah. No, we, uh, <laughs> no, we, uh, I have no idea who these people are. <laughs> 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 That's the best introduction. Yeah. I don't think it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, come on, man. Come on, come on. Yeah, we're just going to go around and make like a workshop. Okay. A workshop? Yeah, go around in circles. Or a play shop. <laughs> I can play with either one of them, so. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. 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 Joe Hall and Jordan Thibodeau, we have no idea where what they're going to do. stuff in there, you know, different stuff. And I, I used to frequent, matter of fact, I had that, I had put that song in my repertoire a long time ago, <laughs> and I just recorded it. And uh, uh, so it, it helps me have different songs instead of playing, you know, I'm, you, you, you'll find in the Zydeco world where people play 
repetitive music. It used to be you could go to the Richard Club and then skip out early and go to, to Slim's and they're playing the same song. I never wanted to do that. I never wanted to do that. My influences with the music was, you know, people like Nolton Simeon and Boisek Ardoin and stuff like that. They didn't do it that way, you know. You know, and, and if somebody would, if a musician played the same songs all the time, they would say they playing the same song. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, so I try, I always try not to do that. And, and, and you know, the songs that I come from, Yes, the truth of it is a lot of them come out of the archives before. Well, the grand grandparents didn't have those archives. We have them nowadays. No, I mean, just like the ladies were, were doing like the, the, the jury, I remember my grandfather, you know, while he was drinking his coffee, and in the morning, on the Saturday morning, he would wake us up with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to say that. The archives in the old days wore pants and shirts and shoes. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. They wore the archives. You know what I'm saying? You know, the wife leave a shirt on and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah they wore the archives. You know what I'm saying? You, you saw them walking around and just didn't notice what they were doing. But uh, just like the lady said, she saw it and she wanted to do it. That's the same thing with me. It's pre pretty much the same story of every accordion player in Louisiana. I, my grandfather would put his accordion on the rocking chair and leave, and then I would pick it up and mess with it, and before you know it, I was playing the song with it. Cool. Yeah. Would you play a song for us, another one? I mean? Okay. You want me to play something? Let, let's do it. <laughs> Uh, with the turn. Next song we're going to do, it comes from the, uh, the carriers. Mr. DeBay used to play uh, Phil with my grandpa. <laughs> Thank you. 
I used to, uh, a good friend of mine, the one, the, the, the one man that pushed me, hey man, what's up, that pushed me into playing in the public with them old songs was Mitch Reed. Mm-hmm. And uh, he would say, man, you gotta find a way to, to play them where with a, a, a fit of bass. So I started having ideas with them. I started having ideas with them. And when I play them, people smile just like, you know, because it, it comes from old time. You know, boss of this song and all that kind of stuff like that. So. Thank you. Jordan, can you do one for us?
Southwest Louisiana. Really? And they had land and and they uh, uh <clears throat> they were freed like in the 1700s, the mid 1700s. Yeah. So uh, the line of thinking was a little different, and I spent a lot of my life around her. So her line of thinking was a a little different. We never, I mean, just like somebody. In the, in, the, in the Creole community would come sit on the porch and have coffee. Somebody in the Cajun community, they also sat on the porch with her and had coffee. It just never made a, a, a difference. I mean, I was, I was raised in a time when, uh, <clears throat> you know, Cat Duce used to come and have breakfast. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It, it, it just wasn't a, a, it wasn't a bad thing. You know, nobody, you know, thought of it as a bad thing. And my, my grandfather, his music, when he played, he mostly played other than uh, Mr. Bebe and, and, and Roosevelt and Richard. That, that was the Cajuns he played with. It wasn't, those were his friends. You know, he worked with them, he played music with them, and it was no barriers. It was no barriers. Thank you. You know, we talked about the cultural fusion. It's what makes our food taste good, our houses. Oh, man. Dancing fun, music fun. 
And, 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 and this, it, 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 it only happened here. It, it, it only happened here. People have to come and, and get it, but it, it only happened here. It's, it's real special, real special. But I used to tell my students, you know, it didn't happen in Africa or the West Indies either. It didn't happen in France. It happened when both of those cultures were in a new place. And, and new, new, new combinations were possible that would not have occurred to anybody in the old mm -hmm. country. That's exactly right. <clears throat> and that's what made us so pretty.
Reverend Tim Drum's fiddle, all three on vocals at various times, and all three on drums all the time. <laughs>